Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for August 1st. Today is Thursday and we are celebrating the memorial for Saint Alphonsus Ligori, a bishop and doctor of our church. Let's have that moment of silence to prepare us for our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Awake, lyre, and harp, with praise let us awake the dog. Have mercy have on me, God, God have, have mercy. For in you my soul has taken, taken refuge. In, in the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me. And, and shame those who assail me. me. My God sent his truth and his love. My soul hides down among lions, who will devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongues a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. Delay the chair for my steps. My soul was bowed down, did not appear in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O oh God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake my soul, awake lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens, and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Awake, light, and harp. With praise let us awake the dawn. My people, say the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. Hear the, Hear the word, word of the Lord, Lord all nations. Proclaim, proclaim it on a distant coast and say, He who is scattered Israel now, now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep and the oxen. Them they shall be like water gardens, 
never again shall they language. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. I will lavish choice portions upon the priests, and my people shall be filled with my blessings, says the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessing. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. The Lord, the Lord is great, great and worthy to, to be praised in the, the city of our God. God. His, His holy, holy mountain rises in beauty, the, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king's city, God is in the midst of its citadels, has shown himself its stronghold. For the, the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded. Dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the banks of birth. By the east winds you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen. In the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled. Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. Walk through Zion, walk all round it. Count the number of its towers. Review all, all its ramparts. ramparts. Examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that, that such is our, our God, our God, God forever and always. It is he who leads us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is great and worthy to, to be praised in the city of our God. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, the heavens are my throne and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house can you build for me? What is to be my resting place? My hand made all these things when all of them came to be, says the Lord. This is the one whom I approve, the lowly and afflicted man who trembles at my word. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. In today's reading from Isaiah, we are reminded that there is nothing that we can give God that he doesn't already have. He has everything. But he respects and loves those who humble themselves and tremble at his word. This is called fear of the Lord which doesn't mean to be afraid of God. It means to know that he is our creator. He created everything. He created us. And when we respect him as the creator, we realize that we are here for a purpose. We are here for a reason. In today's gospel, Jesus Christ talks about the kingdom of God and how we are like fish and that the good fish will be separated from those that are no good. He's been telling us this all week, giving us different parables about the goats and the sheep, the good seed, the bad seed, those that will be thrown into everlasting fire and those who will go in the presence of Almighty God. 
He is reminding us that our life here on earth is for a purpose. And what is your purpose? What do you want out of life? What is it that you want to achieve that is important? Is it status in this world? Is it riches? Or is it preparation for something more beautiful that waits us? I can only imagine what it will be like one day when I'm gone from this world and enter into eternal life, to be in his presence. Will I praise him? Will I stand? Will I fall and bow before him? I can only imagine. All I know is that when I'm in front of the Blessed Sacrament, that's what it's going to be like. Because when I'm in his presence, I feel a peace like no other peace. Brothers and sisters, we have a purpose in our life. Let's make good use of it. Whatever time you have left, we don't know the day or the hour. But however much time you have in your life, make the best of it. Do it for the glory of God. Get rid of those bad relationships. Clean that up. Love your family. Love your friends. And enjoy life to the fullest. But always keeping in mind that one day this will all end. And we will be eternally either in hell or eternally in the presence of Almighty God. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Let the people proclaim the wisdom of the saints. Let, Let the, the people proclaim the wisdom of the saints. saints. With joyful praise, let the church tell forth the, the wisdom of, of the saints. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let, let the, the people proclaim the wisdom of the saints. Those who are learned will be as radiant as the sky in all its beauty. Those who in instruct the people in goodness will shine like the stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Those who are learned will be as radiant as the sky in all its beauty. Those who instruct the people in goodness will shine like the stars for all eternity. Christ is the Good Shepherd who laid down His life for His sheep. Let us praise and thank Him as we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Christ, you decided to show your merciful love through your Holy Shepherd. Let, Let your, your mercy, mercy always reach us through them. Through your vicars, you continue to perform the ministry of that shepherd of soul. Direct, Direct us always through our leaders. Through your holy ones, the leaders of your people, you serve as physician of our bodies and our spirit. Continue to fulfill your ministry of life and holiness in us. 
you taught your flock through the prudence and love of your saints. Grant, Grant us continual growth in holiness, holiness under the direction of our pastors. Let us pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our loving Jesus Christ, our Savior. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Nourish your, your people, people, Lord. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you constantly build up your church by the lives of your saints give us the grace to follow saint alphonsus in his love and concern for the salvation of man and so come to share his reward in heaven grant this through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit god forever and ever amen, amen. the lord be with you and with your spirit the almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen go in the peace of christ glorifying the lord by your lives thanks be to god thank you for praying with us we hope you can join us again tomorrow same time same place same channel have a great day